Hey everyone and welcome back to Tenfold Live. My name is Philippa and I'm here to bring you one of many fantastic episodes sponsored proudly by Liberty. We're going to be focusing on maths and physical sciences, so sit back and let us help you with your matric. We're focusing on maths and science. If you feel like you need a little more extra boost on your content and helping you improve your knowledge, go and download our Tenfold Live app also brought to you by Liberty. It is a fantastic app filled with fantastic content like introduction videos, concept videos, example videos, even videos that show you how your maths can be applied outside the classroom. So really go and download that app, guys. We've worked really hard to bring you some great stuff. Also, don't forget to tune in to this fantastic live show, Monday to Thursday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. It's an hour of great content where we try our best to make trigonometry specifically this week really fun for you. So now we're going to focus on some 2D and 3D trig. Let's go right into an introduction video. Trigonometry is used extensively in many different fields. It is a branch of mathematics that is not only useful but fascinating too. Trigonometry improves critical thinking, geometrical reasoning and problem-solving abilities. In the 2D and 3D trigonometry module, we take you back to the basics with revision of similar triangles and ratios, trigonometric ratios, special angles, solving triangles, finding angles, defining trig ratios on the Cartesian plane, the cast diagram, reduction formulae, trigonometric identities, and general solution. To be successful at 3D trigonometry problem solving, you will need to understand the concepts of solving triangles using 2D trigonometry principles and solving triangles using 3D trigonometry principles. Trigonometry is roughly 40 plus minus 3 marks in the final exam, which is approximately 27% of Maths Paper 2. Hey guys and welcome back. Hopefully that video gave you a little bit of insight as the content we're going to try and cover in this episode. But for now we have a question from Taboho. It's a really great question to help us apply our trig knowledge. So let's check it out. Hi Tenfold. Uh, this is Taboho again. Uh, guys, I wanted to say thank you for the feedback that you gave me from the previous question. But now I have another one. Uh, please help me. I really appreciate your help again. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, this question involves a lot of 2D and 3D manipulation. It's a really great answer for us to apply our trigonometric understanding. So let's just hop right into it and see how I can help you with your trig. So this question reads, R, Q and S are in the same horizontal plane, which means that they are flat along that plane. Q, S is equal to D. Okay, we haven't indicated that on the diagram, so I'll fill that in. PR is a vertical tower, which just means that PR is perpendicular to that horizontal plane. The angle of elevation of P from S is equal to X, so that's that angle over there. PQS is equal to Y, so that's that whole angle over there. And PSQ is equal to Z, which is this angle here. Okay, so firstly it asks us to prove that PS is equal to D multiplied by sine of Y, all over sine of y plus z. Okay, so the side that we're looking for is this one here, p, s. Alrighty, so what I'm going to look at first is, okay, the fact that we have sine in both the numerator and the denominator over here kind of indicates to me that we're going to be using the sine rule. Okay, so let's look at information that we've been given. Alrighty, so we're trying to find this side over here. We've been given d, we're trying to incorporate y and z. So if I look, we've got a triangle here, formulated by p, s at the bottom with angle z there, q at the bottom with angle y there. We've been given that this side length is d, and we're trying to find this side p, s here. Okay, so if we see p, s over here is opposite that angle y, and d is opposite that angle there. So this angle, based on the sum of angles in the triangle, is equal to 180 minus the sum of the other two angles. Okay, so let's plug this into our sine rule and see what we get. If we say PS 
over sine of its opposite angle, which is sine of y, is equal to qs, which is given to us as d, over the sine of its opposite angle, which we have just found to be 180 degrees minus y plus z. Okay, let's keep working with this situation. If we make ps the subject of the formula, we get ps is equal to d multiplied by sine of y all over, well, sine of 180 degrees minus an angle is equal to sine of that angle, y plus z, which is exactly what we're required to prove here. Okay, so simple enough, guys. Simple application of the sine rule. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, prove that PR, which is this length over here, is equal to D multiplied by sine of X multiplied by sine of Y all over sine of Y plus Z. Okay, guys, when you have a multi-scaffolded question like this, remember that more often than not, the first part of that question, they're trying to get you to find it so that you can use it to help you in the second part. Okay, so let's contemplate what we found in the first part. We proved that PS is equal to D multiplied by sine of Y all over sine of Y plus Z. So let me put that in here. D sine of Y all over sine of Y plus Z. Okay, so that's this length over here. So now we're working in a really nice right angle triangle. We've got this triangle happening here. P, R with the right angle there. S with X over there and we found this side to be equal to that. Okay, now we're trying to find this side. So that side is the side opposite that angle X. We have an expression for the side of the hypotenuse of that triangle. So it makes sense that we can use the sine ratio because we have a 90 degree triangle here. So if we say sine of X is equal to opposite, which is PR, and that's the side we're trying to prove, all over the hypotenuse side, which is PS, which we've just found to be D sine of Y all over sine of Y plus Z. Okay, so now all we have to do is make PR the subject of the formula. So we get PR is equal to, we multiply the left-hand side by this entire fraction. So we get the left-hand side, which was sine of X, multiplied by d sine of y all over sine of y plus z, which is in fact what we're proving for right at the top. d sine x sine y, d got the sine x sine y all over sine of y plus z. Okay, so guys, this is a really cool question. Some pointers that I want to give you from solving this question. More often than not, as I said before, when we have a two-parted question, try to see if you can incorporate what you found in the first part when solving the second part. Because more often than not, when teachers scaffold their questions, they do that deliberately to make it easier for you. This question is also great because we're not actually dealing with numbers, so you don't really need to do a whole lot of calculator work. In this kind of question, your teachers are looking for how you apply your trig ratios, where you can see relationships amongst the sides and the angles, etc. And here we went from a 3D perspective in that first triangle, translated into a 2D perspective. They were looking for you to be able to recognize right angle triangles so that you can apply your simple trigonometric ratios. But remember, sometimes they'll also ask you to do this and incorporate the cosine rule, the sine rule, the area rule. So just make sure you understand your basic algebra, ways that you can manipulate equations, ways that you can use your ratios to help simplify things. This was a really great question and I'm really glad that we covered it because it really does help us lead into 3D aspects of trigonometry. So thanks for that question, it was really fantastic. Don't forget to send your questions in to us, guys. We really love helping you with this stuff. Hit us up on our WhatsApp, on our Facebook. We'd love to even give you guys a shout out because you are what makes this possible. But for now, we're gonna jump into an ad break and then we'll head on to the next question and some career videos. A lot of fun stuff coming your way, guys, so stay tuned.